Whew. Uh. Does anybody else feel like it's weird that Kendrick randomly dropped the diss towards Drake and Cole, like out of nowhere? Like, I know I'm kind of late making a video about this, and it's been a while. Uh, we've had the diss. We've had first person shooter, then we had the Kendrick diss, and then we had the J. Cole diss fire back, then we had the apology. Like, yeah, I'm pretty late to the game on making a video about it, and because I didn't know if I wanted to make a video about it, but you know, I really do want to make a video about it, so here I am. And so, with that being said, though, it just kind of felt weird that Cole kind of gave a shout out to Kendrick as a like a as a play of respect, and then Kendrick was like, "Nah, screw you guys." So <laughs> now, granted. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying that it could be more geared towards Drake in that situation. Um, and then Ken, and then Cole was just kind of there for the aftermath of it. He kind of, he kind of caught astray with it. But at the same time though, it, st it still didn't make sense of why Kendrick fired in the first place. It's, it's weird because <laughs> they're saying that, uh, you know, it kind of seemed like it all stemmed from, you know, Cole saying that they're the big three. And then Kendra's like, nah, you know, I'm better than both of y'all. Which is, you know, it is what it is, whatever, skill-wise, sale-wise. Like, there's, there's so many places of how we determine who is good or who's great or who's best. You know, we can, we can go by who sold the most. We can go by, you know, who has the most skill at the craft of, of making music. We can go by who's the better rapper. Uh, there's so many different, like, ways that this can go this conversation can go and i don't think there's a real solid way to determine who is the best and it's just weird to me because i feel like all three people involved that means drake j cole and kendrick are playing three different games like kendrick's kind of playing the game of i think he who's the best lyricist i think cole is playing a game of who's the best at hip hop, meaning like the old school type of hip hop music that like if you grew up 80s, 90s, which Cole is around that age, that does make sense that he's making that type of music. I think that's kind of where he's at. And then Drake is making a type of music where he's trying to be the most popular. Like him comparing himself to Michael Jackson, I think, is in a sense the same as they both make the same type of music, pop music. Like I told, I told a friend recently that Drake makes the type of music that sorority girls dance at at their parties. Like that's the music Drake makes. So like, yeah, we as a hip hop community, a black community or whoever likes listening to Drake because his music is designed for to reach the most broadest audience possible. But at the same time, <laughs> you got to realize that these guys, these gentlemen, are playing three different games. And so for Kendrick to say, yo, you know, I'm better than both of you. Of course, you're probably better than both of them, maybe even in your lane. But there's like this, the lanes are multifaceted. There's so many different like ways to go about doing it. And like, I don't know, I, I just thought it was weird that Kendrick would fire back like that. Now, another thing that's weird is the Prince Outlive Mike Jack thing. Um, Cole already addressed that, that was kind of disrespectful. Like, I don't even know why you would even say that, son. Like, because it's kind of like saying, um, like if I'm in an argument with somebody, or who was the better artist, Prince or Michael Jackson, and then you just pull out the card, well, Mike died first. And it's like, that doesn't, that that's irrelevant, bro. That like that literally came out of nowhere. <laughs> like, <laughs> and it's kind of weird that you're like celebrating that this man, you know, died slightly before the other. It's is it's, it's just overall it's just weird to me, bro. So then Cole makes his apology, which a lot of people which threw a lot of people off, which it didn't throw me off per se because I felt like it was it was normal. It kind of made sense. But at the same time, like, I, I wouldn't say that I, I expected an apology. But, like, for an artist who's kind of been in his own lane, the, like, for so long, without really putting out features as, like, for real, really not even, like, playing the industry game like everybody else is playing it, for real. Like, Cole has always been different like that. He's kind of been, like, a solo dude. 
And so he's kind of been in his own lane and seems like, you know, disses and stuff like that wasn't his thing, you know? I don't know, like, but, you know, he responded. Everybody expected him to, you know, and that's what he said. Like, he just did it because it felt like he was supposed to. But um, I don't know how, like, Kendrick might have felt some kind of way about first-person shooter. You know, like, I don't know. Maybe MoFo was having a bad day. It just seems like Kendrick was, is moving the wrong way. Like, longevity-wise, like, um, y'all got to remember, like, the background of these guys, too. I think, you know, Drake is playing a very long game with his career, his legacy, and everything like that. And I think he's going to outlast majority of artists who are out now and who are going to come out later. Like, like I said, Drake makes music for sorority white girls to dance to. Like, it's hard to compete with that because, <laughs> because that's a whole different audience, bro. And, and, like, Kendrick's audience is completely different from Drake's audience. Kendrick and Cole makes more sense so that they will share audience. Drake can kind of bleed into their audience more so than, you know, they can bleed into his. But, um, I don't know, it's just a weird situation. And then uh, Drake firing back at everybody who's fired at him is insane. Like, <laughs> that was, that, I ain't gonna lie, Drake was dope on that. And I, I kind of like watching, you know, Drake is kind of like, it seems like he's not trying to play that game, but if folks want to play that game, he'll play it with them. And, you know, it's entertainment to watch, but at the end of the day, it's like, bro, like, y'all did the thing that rarely happens. Y'all made it to a level of success where y'all don't have to do this. Like, it's, it's so weird that, like, stuff like this happens when you literally make more money and you, you build more success by, by teaming up. Overall, I think it was a compliment that kind of led to, I don't know, maybe maybe Kendrick was feeling disrespected somehow. Um, I don't know. It's really like, it's so out of left field. With the control verse, for example, when that happened, you know, Drake's response, he said something very interesting. He said, who's going to work with him now? And he's kind of right for saying that because at the same time, like, you know, the entertainment industry is... Like, you got to realize, too, where Drake comes from. Drake comes from television and movies and stuff. But it's the television industry. And that industry is in such a space where it's all about who you know. And, like, if you're out here making tracks like that that's, like, insulting people and stuff like that, then it gets to a point where you start to, you know, isolate yourself. And then once you isolate yourself, you're not getting the appropriate like uh, connections built and made. Now obviously Kendrick's gonna get, still gonna get features and he's gonna still work with people, but at the same time you're starting to push people out, you're starting to isolate people and that's not a great place to be. But I don't know, what you guys think about the whole situation of everything, you know, let me know in the comment section down below and uh, I'm out, peace.